My name is Dr. Martha Greenblatt. I was born Martha Katz in 1941 in Debrecen, Hungary. In the spring of 1944, 80 years ago, Nazi Germany deported almost half a million Hungarian Jews to Auschwitz, where most of them were murdered immediately upon arrival. At that time, I was three years old, and I was deported with my mother Clara and my six-month-old brother Peter on one of the last trains out of the ghetto in Debrecen to Auschwitz. In transit, at some point, the train changed directions, and we ended up in a forced labor camp near Vienna. Towards the end of the war, we might have perished on a forced death march if not for an Austrian soldier who warned us not to follow the rest of the group. After slipping away from the group, cold, starving, exhausted, and desperate, we were turned away by a number of Austrian villagers. Finally, one kindly Austrian woman took us in, provided for us, and sheltered us until we were liberated by the Russian army. In 1956, during the Hungarian Revolution, at age 15, I escaped to the United States. I will always be grateful to this great country for taking me in, for allowing me to build a new life, and giving me opportunities to succeed. In the U.S., I embraced my new opportunities and pursued my education with great determination and discipline. Eventually, I received my Ph.D. at the Polytechnic Institute of Brooklyn, where one of my professors was Rudy Marcus, who later received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Since 1974, I have been a faculty member at Rutgers University in the Department of Chemistry. Now I am a distinguished professor, Board of Governor Professor of Chemistry. I have been a visiting scientist at several research institutions, including the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel, the Clarendon Laboratory at Oxford University in England, the CNRS in Grenoble, France, and I have given invited lectures on my work worldwide. My field of research is in the area of solid-state chemistry, specializing in the synthesis and characterization of new materials for potential applications in computers, batteries, and sensors. My story is just one of many stories of Jewish survivors of the Holocaust who came to America after the war and established new lives here and contributed to society. However, I can't help but think of the six million of our murdered fellow Jews who were not so fortunate and of the contributions they could have made for the betterment of our world had they been allowed to live. In closing, I am fearful of the ominous rapid rise of anti-Semitism and hatred toward Israel around the world and here in the United States, especially on university campuses, including my own campus, Rutgers University. We need to stand up against anti-Semitism and racism Treasure the freedom that you have in the United States of America. You are fortunate to live in one of the world's great democracies. Cherish that. And stand up and fight against anti-Semitism, racism, and injustice, and stand for human rights for all. For what happened to the Jews in Europe and Hungary in the 1940s, what happened to me could happen again, even here.